What is going on everyone? My name is Eskimo and we are back with Hunting Subscribers Season 2, Episode Number 2 and today we're going to try and hunt down a Eskimo and get my very first kill. Now I've killed a few mobs but I really want to hunt down my first Eskimo and get a kill against him. Let's see, do I have any bones? Okay, so I have two bones. So let me see if I can find a doggy this episode as well and get myself a doggy. So I have no idea right now what I'm going to name that doggy. But until that moment, I'm going to think of names inside of my head now. If you guys remember previous episodes of my Minecraft Let's Play, I am absolutely horrible at coming up with names. So, it'll, it'll probably be something named like Yellow Swag Dog. <laughs> Yellow Swag Dog. No, the, the, that won't what it be, but that was honestly a joke at myself because in my very first Minecraft Let's Play episode ever on the 360, that is, or of my Minecraft 360 Let's Play, because I did do Arctic Survival, but I did, however, have a series, right? Uh, and uh, the seed for that series was Yellow Swag Kitten, and I know a few of you remember that, and if you do, you have been an Escabro forever, and that support is seriously insane, but let's see if we can find ourselves something like, oh, it looks like I have stumbled upon somebody's home, have I? Hmm? Is somebody down here? That would be bad if somebody was down here, though. Like, I gotta keep track, though, of people following me around, so nobody is behind me. Nobody's in front of me, so I'm gonna get this... Or, wait, where, where's my iron pickaxe? I was supposed to say, where is that? I really need that, so here we go. Uh oh I heard something. Is somebody above me? What if somebody was above me? That would be... That could be bad, that could also be good, but it looks like we have found an entrance to another place to go inside this cave. So it looks like this place has a lot of stuff to go inside of it. So this place is also another insane place I could go inside of. Wait a second, I keep on hearing things. So it's either mobs down here, which is a very high possibility, or it could be an Escobro. Now, judging on the fact that there are no torches, I'm going to say it wasn't an Escobro. Now, <laughs> I'm going to go back above the surface, though, because I have... Let's see, how many iron ore do I have? So I have three, so I can make myself that furnace. Let's see. Actually, let's go ahead and make ourselves a furnace right now. So I'm going to make a crafting table from there. And from this crafting table, I'm going to make a furnace. So here we go. And there we go. Furnace number two. Furnace number two. And do I have any coal? Okay, good. I have coal. going to make some iron ore or smelt that iron ore and we're gonna get ourselves a iron helmet and after that we're gonna go out of here and maybe make our first kill so it's good episode number two we are getting full iron armor but let's let's uh scout the area right now so I, I can't see anybody near spawn can't see anybody in that direction can't see anybody in that direction so for right now I am at least safe so for the foreseeable future I am safe uh, I guess maybe that's all that matters but it I don't know I, I really want to get some intense PvP action going on right now that is the point of the series getting that intensity feeling in my palms so that's what I'm hoping for let's see where is the armor at so I got myself a iron helmet gonna get these furnaces back and gonna I keep on moving my iron pickaxe for some reason, so I don't know why I keep on doing that, but like I said, I am the world's worst Minecraft player. <laughs> Just laugh at me. I, I really am bad. I apologize, but maybe that will mean this will be a short series. I hope it's not, though. I want this series to be a popular series that you guys are like, man, I want to see. I want to find out what happens next week on Hunting Subscribers. Let's see. I got Escobros in the world. No idea where any of them are at, right? So, spawns right there. Obviously, none of them are near that, but where could they be? Where could they be? Maybe some of them are underground. Now, I'm gonna not going to cheat or, uh, anyway by using host privileges or turning on my map or anything. Or especially turning on uh, gamer tags again. But I'm going to hunt the areas around spawn in hopes that I can maybe find a house that somebody lives in. So that is going to be the goal for episode number two. Now, I know I should honestly probably be way beneath the surface mining, right? I should probably be doing that. But right now, though, let's see if we can find somebody. So maybe somebody's already saw me. Just ooh, 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 just imagine if somebody's already saw me, then they're just tracking my movements right now. That could be bad. That could be very bad. So I'm going to go down here, and looks like we're not finding anything right now, but this area could have possibly been mined. So I'm going to take this iron. You can never have enough iron, so I'm going to constantly be grabbing iron for as long as I possibly can. Okay, I heard an arrow. So there we go. We got ourselves a skeleton. Give me a bone, please. Did he give me a bone? 
No, he did. He did. He did. Okay, so I have four pieces of bone right now. And with the, these bones, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go and try and find a dog. I actually need to go all the way back to my house and get that food because these carrots are not going to cut it. These carrots are definitely not going to cut it. Is anyone near me, though? Anyone near me? Hello? Nope, there's a cow, though. There is a cow, so health is going on the up right now. Going over here. Where, where was that cow? I just saw a cow like a second ago. I'm going to kill him, get his food. Cow, where did you go? Okay, there he is. There's that cow. He almost gave me the swerve and the Europa Dope slip. I almost missed him entirely. Over here, though, this looks like a nice place. I you know, just imagine if I live right here, right next to spawn. This would be a great hideout, actually. So maybe this will be like our hideout for... In the future, maybe. Hmm. That that'd be a good idea. So leaving that little torch right there. So I remember where this place is. It has been noted. But honestly, a, a great idea for me to do would be to get away from spawn as much as I possibly could. Because you know, the more people can follow me, the worse off I am. But for right now, let's see. Let's actually get an idea. I'm gonna. I'm thinking about turning on. Oh, there's something right there. I'm thinking of turn. <gasps> there's somebody. We're gonna make our first kill. Kill. We are gonna make our first kill, Eska Bros. And there it is. It's a Steve. It is a unarmored Steve. I apologize, buddy, but you are gonna be the first sacrifice for hunting subscribers season two. And there you go. You're dead. Oh, it's Herobrine. I killed Herobrine. So there you go. Herobrine is dead. He can go back. He can get all of his stuff. I have no idea who that was. So let's see. In-game gamer tags. Uh oh. Uh oh. There he is. He sees me. Uh-oh. Getting out of here. Getting out of here as fast as I possibly can. Run! Run! All right, so that was our very first kill. Right now, I do not see anyone else, but it looks like this could have been mined out. <laughs> I'm looking for signs of people as much as I possibly can. So we made one kill already. Let's actually go over here and get inside of one of the trees. Just imagine if I was hiding in one of the trees, right? And they're like, <gasps> there's Escabro. I'm like, where would I go? Honestly, I have no idea how I would escape out of here. But I need, oh man, I need to constantly think about escape routes and stuff like that. And that's, that's just stuff that needs to constantly be on my mind. Because if I don't think about stuff like that, this could be a very short series. I know some of you do not want that. So there we go. <gasps> no. Oh, thank goodness I made that. <laughs> thank goodness I made it on top of that vine. Here we go, getting over here, and hopefully we can get on top of this jungle tree. That is going to be the goal, getting on top of this jungle. Oh, no, no, oh, there we go. Thank goodness the fall wasn't even further than that. That could have been very bad. So there's the spawn all the way over there. I made my very first kill. I do not see anyone else. Ooh, I see somebody down there. Do they think they're asking, bro? Huh? Do you think you're me? Huh? I see you, buddy. Uh-huh. Staring at you from a tree, and whoever you are, though. Uh, let's see what name they have. So let's see. What name is that? So I gotta go under settings to see their names in game game attack. So who is that below me? Oh, it's red. So it is actually DJ Killers. I'm gonna turn off gamer tags right now. So I just want to see the name of the person. So hopefully they're not looking up. So they're not looking up, but they are definitely hunting around for me. They're, they're the hunted right now. What if I just went down there and kept killing them? I'm not gonna do that though. I'm gonna have a mercy. <gasps> that is a different person. That is a different person from the sieve. This is going to be kill number two. So there you go. DJ Killers, you have been slain by the Escabro. So kill number two has been made. And that's good. Good thing I stole that Steve. Okay, that <gasps> There's a kill number three over here. I see you. I see you, whoever you are. We're not teaming up. Nope. We're not teaming up. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Honey subscriber season three. All right, or not season three, but kill number three and hunting subscribers. So I'm gonna move away from spawn though because, as you can tell, they kind of have low level loot. So I'm like, ah, I don't really want to keep on killing them over and over because I have full iron armor. So I'm gonna be getting out of there right now. I'm gonna be going all the way back to my igloo on the on this side of the world. So. We have had three kills so far, and, you know, I want to fight somebody who has armor, though. I really want to find one of the Escobros who has armor, but that's, that could also be a strategy as well. Like, just imagine if I, like, hunted around spawn, and there's nobody... Oh, wait, okay, I gotta make sure nobody's following me first before I go over here, so let's see. Nobody is following me. <laughs> you know, the villagers see me, but they're not gonna tell anyone. They're gonna be like, wah, wah, wah. 
Wah, wah, wah. He went that way. Wah, wah, wah. No, the villagers are not going to give away my location. If they do, though, I'm going to come to that village. I'm going to slaughter all of them because if they give away my location and you scumbag Escobar's gotten to my hideout, it could spell bad news for me. So I don't want that to happen. So right now we're going back to my hideout. Let's see how much... How much iron do I have? So I only have two pieces of iron ore. So I'll have to go mining in suit. So maybe that's what we'll do for the rest of this episode after I go back to my little house right here. Oh yeah, I do need some food as well. So we're gonna get the cow or kill this cow. And there we go. Nice. Alright, so I believe this is right where okay, so get out that dirt block again. And this is where my house is currently at. So there we go. Hiding away from all the use comeback Escobros right now. So we're safe. Putting some raw beef inside of here. So let's see. So I definitely think I should go mining next. Now I could get full iron armor. That could definitely be something I do next. But before I do that, I want to wait and get three pieces of beef before I go mining. Because if I get stuck down there and I get trapped, that could be really bad for me. But... I'm hoping for a diamond. Now, diamonds in episode number two, that, that that might be a bit of a stretch. Maybe in episode number three. Now, I'm hoping, though, uh, before I go back to episode number three or four, though, before I do that, you know, I'm hoping to have better gear. And I'm also hoping that you, Escobros, you have better gear as well because I do not want to constantly fi be fighting you all. You don't have gear to fight me. I, I would just feel like a complete scumbag if I kept on spawn killing you. That wouldn't be no fun at all. Like, the series would also be not so entertaining to watch if I constantly just kept on stalking the prey. And they just, or I just kept killing them when they had no armor right next to spawn. Now, I'm not going to do that. But what I will do is check, make sure, before I go this way, so nobody saw me came over here, and nobody keeps on coming in this direction, I have no idea why, there's an NPC village over there, you figured this area would be swarming with people, but it's not now, and that's, that's kind of a good thing though, let's see if I can find a doggy, so I saw dogs over here earlier, can I find them again, just to be sure though, get out the bones in my inventory, so I got four bones, and I, if I were to come across a doggy, I have no idea what I'd name the dog. I honestly have no idea. <laughs> is the doggy over there biting that sheep? No, he is not. But there are two cows over here, so we're going to go over here, kill the cow, and get inside that cave we saw earlier. And what we're going to do inside that cave, we're going to hopefully find some diamonds. So, cow, you are right in front of me. Let's kill this cow. So, cow massacre number 4055. RIP cow. <laughs> you will not be missed. If you have watched the video this far, then you are an absolute beast. If you have watched the video this far, then comment something like, R.I.P. Cow. R.I.P. Mr. Moo Moo. You will not be missed. Alright, let's see though if I can find anyone. Let's see. I see light though. And it is not my life flashing before me. Thank goodness. <laughs> Thank goodness that is not the light that I see. But I, this is not the cave that I saw earlier. I honestly have no idea where that cave was. I've lost all track of it. But luckily I have found another cave. And inside of this cave, let's see if we can find something awesome. Now this could also be an awesome place for me to hide. But I'm not going to do that. But what I am going to do, I'm going to try to go lower as much as I possibly can. But there's some coal or iron right here. So grabbing the iron as much as I possibly can. And uh, hopefully I'm getting way more iron. But let's see. Going to go lower? Is, is there a path lower through there? I don't know. I think that just might be a little pond inside of a cave. So I don't want to risk it going down there. Because I only have limited torches right now. But we see light over here. And light usually means lava. And if you guys remember, I think that lava means that. I'm getting closer and closer to the diamonds and that is the goal for this right for me right now to get the diamonds but it looks like I'm not getting close to anything <gasps> a dog a dog okay so if you take the first bone okay your name is gonna be yellow swag dog if you take the second bone I mean <laughs> your name is gonna be mr. Wuffles. Wolf, no, Mr. Woofy. Mr. Woofy, come back here! But if you take the third bone, you're gonna be Mr. Bark Bark. So here we go. Oh! 
you are going to be Yellow Swag Dog. So Yellow Swag Dog and I are on the prowl. We are on the prowl for more doggies. I, I saw a doggy, and usually whenever you see doggies, there might be more than that in the area. So Yellow Swag Dog, let's go on. Let's go, Mr. Yellow Swag Dog. Get out of here and see if we can see any more Eskimos. Is that a... Is that a dog over there? I might be. Well, I'm not going to bother with them. You know, I'm not going to bother going back to the spawn. What I am going to bother with doing, though, is going down here with Mr. Yellow Swag Dog. We're going to be on the hunt. Not for subscribers right now. We're changing up the hunt. Now the diamonds are being hunted. And actually, check out this place. This place is kind of insane. Man, this is a very cool cave that I have found. I'm glad I found this place. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Just imagine if I took a step to the left. Oh, man. I was cutting that one close there. Oh, jeez. All right, so I'm, I'm running out of... Uh-oh. Yeah, I'm running out. Uh, why did I? Okay, I'm running out of torches. So I'm going to get myself some more torches. So there we go, 24 torches. And we don't have to worry about torches as much as we did before. So just hunting around this cave right now. So thank goodness, though. Just imagine if somebody came up behind me right now. Or Herobrine. I mean, I already killed Herobrine, right? So I killed Herobrine. Herobrine has been slain. But... You know, I also killed Eskimo as well. <laughs> I, I killed Eskimo, so maybe I'm the one who killed Eskimo. No, I am still alive, though. I am doing great. I am in great health. And, uh, you know, a couple more minutes until I... Oh, man! Check that out, guys! We found a dungeon! We have found a dungeon! Mr. Yolo Swag Dog! Yolo Swag Dog! This is a spider dungeon, too. A spider dungeon, too. So light this up so no spiders can spawn. And let's see what's inside of here. So I got myself a enchanted book. Nice! The loot is awesome inside of here. Got myself a saddle. Cocoa beans. Nice! I, I could honestly always deal with a bucket. It would be a very good idea for me to have a bucket of water inside of my inventory at all times. So that is one thing I'm going to do. And I'm going to be getting out of here right now. So, nope. I'm going to take the string as well. The reason why I'm taking the string is because I can make a fishing pole. And with that fishing pole, I can get every Escobro's favorite item. Fish. I, I would really love to have fish. But I'm getting out of here. Oh, oh. Iron down here, so get that iron before we get out of here. So, Mr. Yellow Swag Dog, are you ready? Bark, 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 bark. Nope, you're ready. He barked. He is ready to get out of here, and so am I. Let's see, though. I I don't know where I'm gonna go. So, let's go down here. This looks like a good location to go. <laughs> Maybe it does. I don't know. Every location looks like a good location to go, but this more so because it looks like it's turned into a mini ravine. I found myself like a mini ravine. All right, nice. Now, the map, as you guys know, I can't see anybody on it. So the map at this point is telling me my location. So my Y coordinate, it'll, that'll tell me how close I am getting to diamonds. And I know that diamonds are below level 22, I think. So below level 22, that is our goal to get to right now. So Mr. Yellow Swag Dog, thank you for killing him. You, you. You, hey, hey, don't you hit my doggy! No, you do not do that. So, Yellow Swag Doggy, are you okay, buddy? Are you okay, little guy? Are you okay? Huh? He, oh, he barked. He is okay, Escabros. And continuing on, getting some iron ore right now. And I think this might be enough iron ore for a while. So, let's see, how much iron ore do I have? So, I have 30 in my inventory. This is going to be our little base camp for this cave. So, let's see. I got myself a crafting table. So, move that crafting table down in my inventory. And over here, we're going to move that little furnace. So, we're going to constantly have a little base camp down here. Well, not constantly have a little base camp. But as long as I mine down here, I will have a base camp. And, uh-oh. I do not have any coal! That is the conundrum I am currently facing. So I gotta go and find some coal. But I'm just getting some XP right now. So Lapis is good for XP, but... There we go. Thank you, Blue Pickles. I appreciate that. There's some lava down there. But what I... Okay, what I really want to find is the coal. So here we go. Got some coal. Getting this coal. And we're gonna start smelting. Oh, there's even coal over here. It's a sign. This coal was meant to be here for me to get it. So there we go. Getting as much coal as I possibly can for right now. Gonna be level 8. I'm very close to level 10. So level 10 in episode 2. That is absolutely immense. Or not le episode... Yeah, or level 2 in level 2. No, level 2 in episode... Level 10 in episode... 
episode number two. I keep on stumbling over all my words, guys. I apologize. Apparently, I just can't commentate today. But Yellow Swag Doggy and I, where? Oh, I was going to say, where's my base camp? I've kind of lost track of it. But it is right here. And, um... Let's see if we can find ourselves a stream of water. So here's a stream of water. Let's see, can I take that? Nice! I took it. And uh, let's move this out of my inventory. Let's move that. Move that out of my out of my inventory as well. So I don't need that currently. I'm gonna go down here because what we saw down here was lava. And we, we <gasps> wait a second. Somebody has been here. Somebody has been here. I have found somebody's house. I have found somebody's house. Somebody's been here. Somebody's caves. I'm fine. I'm 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 hunting them down. Maybe Harold made this tunnel, huh? Where are these tunnels gonna lead? Find out next time in episode number three of Hunting Subscribers. Uh oh. I think this is where or I think that's where it is. But find out next time on episode number three of Hunting Subscribers. This is very intense. We have found something.